What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another week and another episode of Hawk Talk alongside Nighthawks General Manager Dan Carey. I'm Susie Cole. Dan, a very tight game on Saturday against the Toronto Rock. The Rock pulling out a 9-8 win. Where was the defense the tightest on both ends of the floor? Um, I think they're just two teams that were ready to compete. Um, you know, we did a phenomenal job, I thought, on their, on their offense. Um, a couple guys that stood out, particularly Ryland Reese, he was, uh, um, you know, majority of the game he seemed to be on Tom Schreiber and, and did a great job on him. So um, kudos to, to both sides. Our, our defense was, uh, was dialed in. Ryland Hartley was unbelievable. That might have been the best game I've seen him play. Um, that's a team that scored a lot of goals recently and, and to hold them to nine, um, I think it was 4-3 four, four, at half. So. Uh, we did a great job, and, and you know I think their defense did as well. Um, their goaltender played great. It was uh, it was a very uh, well-rounded game, I think, for both sides. You mentioned how it was goaltender Rylan Hartley's maybe best game of the season. Why? I don't know. I don't know the reason why he uh, he's. I think part of it is you know him continuing to develop, and you know every game is is you know added experience for him. So. Could be a big part of the reason. Uh, I know some of our guys being from the Toronto area, you know, there's that added competition, I think, and, and having friends and family there. So uh, there could have been some of that, but, you know, he's growing as a player and we see that every week. So he uh, he's definitely, you know, uh, he was a big reason why we held him to, to what we did. And, um, you know, I, he's, he's a goalie that has such a bright future and we're, we're seeing that now. Forward Connor Fields with yet another seven point night. How does he navigate these tight defensive games yet still find so much offensive production? Um, he's, he's trusted with the ball on his stick and you know, I think he maximizes on his opportunities. He, he's a guy that uh, isn't just you know, a shooter or isn't just a feeder, he, he's, he's well-rounded and you know, I think it's a testament to you know, uh, his athleticism, a big part of it, but also his IQ and, and, and the way he sees and, and has his vision for the game. This week, taking on the Georgia Swarm on Sunday at 4 p.m. What are you expecting from this matchup? Uh, they're, they've won two games in a row now. Um, they're a team that is, uh, you know, very skilled and they work very hard. And you know, I think things have haven't gone their way throughout the year, but they've, you know, they've shown recently that they're a team that's going to be scary to compete against. So, you know, we have to be at our best, like we we have to be every weekend. Um, they're a team that's going to be fighting for their, their playoff lives and we have to be ready to, to show up on Sunday. Dan, thank you so much for once again joining me this week. The Nighthawks fans, just a heads up, from here on out, Craig Rubczynski, your play-by-play -play broadcaster, will be taking on over Hawk Talk. Uh, the Nighthawks, they're back in action this Sunday at 4 p.m. against the Georgia Swarm. They are on the road. It's been a pleasure, Nighthawks fans.